Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to share with you things that I did not expect to fall in love with. These are like completely unexpected love affairs right here. I am just smitten with these products and in the beginning I was either hesitant, I wasn't going to buy it, or I bought it blindly thinking, ah, this could just be a crap product, or it may turn out to be bomb. So everything I'm about to talk to you guys about today, I'm smitten with. So I was not born with these awesome natural long lashes. I was born with short, stubby, straight eyelashes. And I love to wear eyelashes, but on the daily, that's just not something that I do. And so I was looking for a product that was going to make my eyelashes grow. And I know there's Latisse and there's, um, you know, like different lash growing serums that you can buy that are expensive. And I was not about to, you know, fork out a hundred and some dollars a tube to make my eyelashes longer. I wanted the results, but I didn't want to pay that price. So when I found this product, this is called Rapid Lash, and you can order this on Ulta. And also Bed Bath & Beyond carries it as well. So if you have a 20% off coupon for either place, snag one of these up. Because I'm going to tell you right now, this works. This legit works. You can also put it on your eyebrows if you need some longer eyebrows. Um, I, I've been using this now for mm, four months, about four months. And I've seen significant, not only length, but thickness. My lashes are so much thicker. Now I just curl my eyelashes and put on more of like a lengthening mascara or something that's going to like pull them out and stretch them and I can just kind of design them where I want. This stuff is awesome. It actually works and I think it's less than $40. So totally, absolutely, unexpectedly fell in love with this product and highly recommend it. I just zoomed you out a little bit because I felt like you were really up in my business today. <laughs> okay, the next thing. Is oh, oh. I have tried several different thermal protection sprays, something you would spray on your hair uh, before you go in with any sort of hot styling tool, whether it be a curling iron or a flat iron or whatever. Um, and so I've tried several different ones and I despise ones that leave a wet mist. I mean, then your hair is damp and you go to curl it and all of a sudden there's like smoke in the air. I mean, you let, I feel like you're burning your hair. <laughs> I just can't stand those. But I've had this in the past and I loved it. And then I steered away from it and tried a few other different things because someone said it's awesome. And I went back to this, and you guys, I've re-fallen in love with this product. First of all, when I use this, not only does it protect your hair, but it holds my curl for days. And I have naturally wavy hair, so when I straighten my hair and I use this, it stays straight. When I curl my hair, it stays curly. I just love this product. So this is the Hot Off The Press Thermal Protection Spray. It's not wet. It just sprays a nice mist. It smells good. It's not going to weigh your hair down. I think it's awesome. You need to try it. Side note, I'm so loving this bangle. This is from Twisted Silver. Um, I hope you can't hear it. If you can hear it, I might just take it off, but I wanted to show you. It comes in a couple different colors, and I threw it on today, and I just think it's so funky and fun. You can adjust it to fit your arm, so like if you want to wear it as like an arm cuff or something, that would be super cool. But I'm going to push it up, so I'm hoping it's not too loud and dangling. I bought this on a whim, and I have been smitten since the first time that I sprayed it. It is the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator Toner. So it's a hydrating toner for your face, and I love that because it's not a hydrating toner that's going to make you greasy. It's not too hydrating. It smells divine, like the most delicious assortment of essential oils ever, and almost... Oh my gosh, it's just wonderful. It reminds me of like a field of flowers. Like if you're out in a very fragrant field of flowers, that is what this smells like. It's just divine. The mist on it is lovely. It's very fine. It's formulated for all skin types. It's just a wonderful, awesome toner. I'm almost gone and I'm going to be placing an order for another one because it just feels so good. But it also does stuff for your skin. It really balances out the pH of your skin. Get your skin prepped to put on all of those treatments and serums that you're going to do afterwards. Highly recommend this stuff. Another skincare product I can't be without, and I bought this on a whim, I ordered it, I started with the travel size, and I decided I can't live without this stuff. It legit transforms my skin, it has transformed my skin, it's got rid of my redness, my unevenness, my blotchiness, my texture, it's the Biologic, oh, how do you say this, Biologic Research, no, Biologic Research, eh? I don't know, I say Biologic Research, <laughs> that's probably the very American way to say it. Um, but it's the Lotion P50 1970. This is an acid toner. It has both lactic acid and salicylic acid in it. It is bomb. It has evened out my skin. It makes me look like smooth. Makes my makeup go on so much better. I've noticed a huge difference in the clarity, in the overall texture, and visible, visible fine lines have been just softened. I just, 
I love this stuff. I can't say enough about it. It is a spendy guy. If you want to try this, maybe do what I did and order the smallest size just to kind of see if you're going to like it, if you see a difference in your skin. There are different formulations. So depending on your skin type, your skin needs, um, I would do a little research on that. On their website, it'll explain each one. But this is the original 1970 P50 version, and I freaking love it. A last skincare product, and I'm not going to spend too many minutes on this because I raved and raved and raved about this product, but if I'm going to do a mask, number one, I want it to work. I want to see a difference. I'm, I'm not one to just put any old mask on my face anymore because I'm looking for active ingredients. I'm looking for things in a product that are actually going to do something. Um, I do sheet masks every now and then. I don't mind doing those, but a lot of the other like mask type things I've, I've tried, I just, I'll put it on and I just don't see a difference in my skin, but I see a visible difference whenever I use this by May, May Lindstrom. This is her problem solver. It's a warming correcting mask. Cleans out my pores. Gets rid of any like whiteheads I have going on. Evens out my skin texture. My skin literally after washing this off is glowing with no added product my natural skin is just smooth like glass I just can't even rave enough about this product it does what it says it's gonna do it is worth every single penny it is a powdered form you take equal parts of this product with water mix it up put it on your face relax take a bath wash it off it does get hard um, and then you wash it off and that's that's when the magic happens I love this I highly recommend checking this out and starting to incorporate some sort of masking into your skincare routine you're gonna be so happy with what this does for your skin oh my gosh you guys I got some good makeup stuff here um, I have just been really coming into my own <laughs> I've been really discovering what lip colors and and just makeup products in general that I like. I've just been, I don't know, I've just been on this like kick lately. And so a lot of the things that I have here are all in that same type of shade range that I'm just obsessed with. So let's start off with this first product. Um, I have two shades in this. One I had bought a couple years ago. And more recently I picked up another shade and I love this color. So it's the Laura Mercier Paint Wash. These came out a few years, ago, few years ago when the whole liquid lipstick craze began. However, these are lightweight. They're more whipped moussey kind of, but not too moussey. Glide on smooth and they do not dry down to a flat, matte, blood sucking to that flat, matte, uncomfortable, suck the life out of your lips and make it look 95. Like, they don't do that. They stay kind of moussey, just really comfortable on the lips. So this is the shade Nude Rose that I've most recently been obsessed with. And the other color I've had is Petal Pink, which is a really pretty pink. Great color for the spring and summer here. So I'll swatch both of them. I like the wand too. It's flat, so it's really easy to just glide it across your lips here. Oh, I mean, I just... It's named appropriately, like paint wash. Like if you were to take a paintbrush and just glide it across canvas, that's really what this does on your lips. This nude rose color is so sexy. To me, I love doing a darker nude like this. I just think it's so, I mean, with a smoky eye, oh, it's so good. So good, so comfortable. So it's not going to dry down flat. It's going to stay like a nice like satin texture just really nice like almost gives your lips like a plumping look because of how it's formulated with that moosiness check these out if you're looking for something that's longer wearing but not going to be matte and just absolutely lifeless is that chocolate on my table this perfume i was in ulta one day just you know meandering aimlessly like a lost puppy and i seen this fragrance and i had never smelled it before i took one sniff and I was like, love at first sight. <laughs> I, I picked it up and I put it in my little Ulta bag and I took her home and I love this. This is spicy. This is different. This is unique. I love this. It's just unlike any of the other perfumes that I have. It's not another run of your mill sweet smell. It's not another clean smell. It's not even another spicy smell. There is just something so desirable about this perfume. And in fact, when I wear it, even my husband's like, ooh, you smell good. You guys need to go sniff this. I I know this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea because um, I have a few friends who would think this is just not them, but at the same time, it has an element of freshness to it. It has that element of sweetness to it. It's so exotic. I feel like if you were going on some sort of tropical vacation to some absolutely fabulous place, 
this would be the scent I would bring with me because there's something about it that you remember it. It is so different. Like, I feel like if you went to a party and you wore this, you would stand out in a very good way. Like, you are remembered if you're wearing this. So it's, I didn't even tell you what it is. It's Sarah Jessica Parker Stash. You need to add this to your perfume stash. I can't live without this brush. This brush I ordered um, off of Beautylish. That's where I buy all of my Wayne Goss brushes. This is number 14, okay? So last, what was it, last summer, last fall, um, I was placed in a Beautylish order and I wanted to try some of his face brushes. So I, you know, it's really hard to tell on, like, the pictures, like, they show you and stuff, but you really don't get a good idea of something until you're holding it in your own hand. So I threw this in my cart, I got it home, and I didn't even really use it that much for the first month or two because I really wasn't sure, like, what do I do with this? What do you do with this? You do a lot of things with this, but I love it for blush because Chelsea likes to go a little crazy with the blush. I like to apply maybe perhaps a little bit too much than I should. This helps me control that. <laughs> My natural urge is to just keep adding and adding, but this, I can't even explain to you. I love this because it blends out my blush without being too wide. Like, I have a small face, like, in person. Between here and here, it's small, it's more petite. So, a lot of your traditional blush brushes are just, quite frankly, too big. It gives me, like, a lot of blush going on. This is smaller, so you can really control, but at the same time, add and blend at the same time. It's like, it's like two actions in one. And I already got a full face of makeup on. I could still go in with any sort of powder and buff it all over into my skin because it's fluffy enough that it can add product but not too dense that it can blend it all out without smushing and messing absolutely everything up that's already on your face. So I highly recommend this face brush by him. Um, I'd like to get number 13. It's been out of stock. When it does come back in stock, I'm going to be um, doing the payment plan through Beautylish, which is an awesome. You can do it too. Um, if you spend $100 they, or more, they divide your payments up equally into three payments, and then they'll just charge you on that same day every month for three months, which is an awesome way to get a few things. It lessens the blow of a $200 order, you know what I'm saying? So I love this. I have two things I just randomly bought. I had to go to CVS a couple of a couple of days ago um, because I was going to film and I was out of lash glue. The glue I was using had been open too long. It left like a like a, a rash along my lash line, so I threw it out and I went to CVS to buy a new glue. And I was just kind of wandering through because I haven't been to CVS or any of those like drugstore type places in a while, and I was by myself. And so, what does a girl do? Wander through the makeup section, of course. And I just so happened to pick this up because I like the color. It was the color that caught my eye, and I wore it um, recently in a video. On, I can't remember which video it was. I think it was a, maybe it was my May Favorites video. Nope, not May Favorites. I don't know. It was a recent video, and I really liked the finish of this. Now, it does dry matte, which I don't love, but when I don't love a matte consistency, I just put a little bit of a gloss or even a little chapstick to like moisten it up a bit, but the color is phenomenal. This is the Milani. Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream. Now, metallic lips have been in for a little bit. Um, I know not everyone likes a metallic lip, but if I'm going to do a metallic lip, I don't mind if it's matte, because then I can add shine if I want to. I feel like if it's metallic and too shiny, that's where we get into a little bit. That's a little bit too much, maybe, for me. Maybe not for you. Um, I'll swatch this. This is the color Over Dramatic. <laughs> that doesn't describe me at all. Um, but it has that flat wand like the Laura Mercier's does. Oh, you guys, this is a metallic that's not overkill, and I think that's why I like it. It's not like, whoa, 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 your lips are metallic. It's like a subtle, lovely foil, almost. Mm-hmm. Oh, my. You guys, it's so pretty. It's a beautiful rose shade. It's just really not, really, not, <laughs> really lovely, over dramatic. Check it out, Milani. And I love the packaging. It's really sleek, really nice. So I bought that. And then I was at Target with my brother. Not with my brother. I was not at Target with my brother. He doesn't even live here. With my son. And we were just kind of, you know, meandering, getting some clothes, and just, you know, Target. I mean, get lost in Target for forever. Especially if that Target has a Starbucks. Game over. Isaac gets his little cake pop and his apple juice. I get my flat white and my cookie, and we go shopping. But anyways, we were on our way out, and I just kind of zoomed through the um, makeup section because I wanted to buy a waterproof mascara because now that it's getting hot out and going to the sauna, going to the pool with the kids, going to the gym, 
you know, I just kind of wanted something that wasn't going to flake off and just, you know what I mean. So I needed a waterproof mascara. And so I just, on a whim, picked up this mascara. Best mascara I have ever tried at the drugstore. Perhaps the best mascara I have ever tried, period. That's a huge statement. I've tried a lot of mascaras. Honestly, completely and utterly blown away. I don't even know why I would need to search for anything else because held my curl. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect and of course, waterproof. You could buy the non-waterproof version. And I also buy black. Um, full fan effect. Okay, so basically, it pulls every single lash you own up. And then, of course, you can fan them out if you'd like. It separates. But here's the kicker. A lot of mascaras look great for the first couple hours. And later in the day, if you look in the mirror, you notice your lashes have kind of fallen. Or they're not as black. They're not as defined. Maybe some of it's flaked off. Maybe it's smudged. Like, it's just, you know, it's just disappointing. Uh-uh. I was not disappointed with this and I checked the mirror several hours later. I even went to the hot tub with this. Didn't budge. Didn't, I didn't even move. I'm like, I'm, the search is over. I love this. This is just bomb. I don't even know how much it was, but probably less than $10 would be my guess. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Can we see that? Maybe that's too close. It has a tiny little teeth. Lots of little teeth and it's kind of curved, which is kind of nice to like pull underneath your lashes and pull up or to pull out. I love that the, the top teeth here on the top row are really close together, so it really separates, but then on the bottom they're a little bit further apart, so then after you've applied it, if you need to go back in and separate them, you have, you know, teeth on the bottom that will do that. So, really great design, awesome formula, you need to check this out. You just need to get your buns over to some store that sells this mascara and bring it home, try it, and let me know what you think. I think I've been talking too much, my voice is leaving me. So this next product I had tried previously a different shade and I just didn't like it. I don't know if it was the color or if it or what it was, but I just did not like it. Then I got this color and I love it. I now love this formulation, so I don't know if I got a bad one or if it was just the color. I think sometimes you try a formula but the color's off and it just turns you off completely from the formulation. But it might not be the formulation, it might be that color on you, but you know, some days you're trying things on, you're just trying to decipher why the heck do I look terrible, you know what I mean? So this is the Tardiest Lip Paint, which is kind of in that same category as the Laura Mercier, where it's long wearing, but it's more moussey, it doesn't dry down completely matte flat, not disgusting. This color makes me feel so good about myself. Um, there are certain makeup products that do that for me. This color does it for me. This is the shade TBT, which I'm assuming is Throwback Thursday. I don't know. Probably I'm assuming wrong on that one. All I know is this color for me just is, oh, so it's rosy. It's a little mauve, but it is oh so sexy. I mean, it just makes my blue eyes look blue. It almost makes my hair look a little bit more red, which I like red hair. Um, and I just, I love it. I feel so good in this color. It just makes my lips look really full and juicy. I think it's because it's really close to like a lip color. So it enhances it in such a very natural, not artificial way that you just look more pretty. You know what I mean? You don't look overdone. You don't look like you're trying hard to make your lips look full and, and pouty. It's just the color. The color of this. So you need to try this TBT by Tardius. They're not by Tardius, by Tarte, their lip paint. Yeah, it's good. Okay, the last thing I have is a gloss I had just ordered. I blindly ordered it. I had heard a few people say that they liked it, and I was like, you know, I don't need another gloss. That whole thing over there is full of glosses. I don't need another gloss. Um, I wasn't even in the market for one. And so I kind of wavered on what color to get too because when you're looking at like, I think I ordered this off of Ulta, you're like looking at the different colors online, it's hard to tell the difference. Like all the swatches look the same to me. And so I really wasn't sure what color to get and I just was like, you know, I'm not, I didn't have a lot of expectations for it, honestly, because I'm like, it's just gonna be another gloss. Like gloss is gloss. Well, until you buy this one, um, this is the Bare Minerals Buttercream Gloss. So just sit on that word a minute. Butter and cream. Both wonderful things. Um, and then you put that into a lip gloss formulation and you have smooth, not chunky, not thick, not sticky, not too over glossy. I mean, there's a gloss point where it's like you can see yourself back in someone's lips. Like it's not like that. This is the shade Sugar, which I highly recommend this color. Um, I think its description online is like a, a mauve, but it's lighter than that. Oh, it's so sexy. It's that 
dusty, dirty pink color. Sugar. Oh, sugar, you be fine. I love this. Highly recommend this formula, especially for all of you that hate sticky. See, and I don't even, that's, a, that's my thing. Like, gloss to me is gloss. I don't care if it's sticky, because if my hair's up, sticky usually means it's going to stick around, especially when you're drinking stuff, you don't want it to come off. Um, so when I tried this, I was like, wow, it is stunning. It is not only a beautiful color and a beautiful formulation, but it stays on your lips nicely and hugs them in a really nice way. So I fell in love with all these things, and I think you will too. So I highly recommend checking out some of these things. I think you're really going to be unexpectedly blown away. Thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed this concept because I can think of some more things. I mean, I feel like as I go on, you know, in my journey of trying different makeup and skincare, you know, you, you buy things and you don't expect much from them and then you're blown away, you know? And other times you buy something that you were expecting to be good and you're just really let down. I also like to make those videos, so let me know if you want one of those types of videos. I could definitely do that for you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'd love to have you stay here and subscribe, so please do that if you haven't, and we will chat very soon. Bye, guys.